I think it mostly sounds like a velociraptor scream or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Other times it sounds like a woman scream. And then he, sometimes he does these chirping things that make him sound like a bird. It's a sound that has a lot of variety to it. He'll interrupt you sometimes and like, hey, I'm down here. Don't forget about me. He just wants to be close to you. He literally just walked into my life at the right time. I was returning to my apartment and I thought I saw the silhouette of a dog from a park across the street by himself. And he walked towards me, wagging his tail the whole time and rested his head on my knee. I was like, okay, well, I guess you're coming in with me, buddy. I quickly tried to cover my stuff in sheets because he was dirty, didn't smell too great. He clearly had been outside for a long time. He was underweight. Mm, is that good? He kind of made himself at home right away. He cuddled up next to me on the love seat that night, and I literally woke up the next morning with his head under my armpit. Yeah, this is really happening right now. And him just staring up at me like, this is awesome. <laughs> I wanted to give his owners a fair chance to find him. This is my friend Mo. We met last night. I was very hesitant to leave him there. There was just uh, something inside me saying that he had come into my life for some reason. I found Mo on Saturday, June 17th. The next day was Father's Day. Coincidentally, also my father's birthday. I lost my dad when I was 16 years old. There has to be a reason that he wandered into my life. And so yeah, I, I went and visited him every day at the shelter after that, and he got progressively worse. A little depressed, sick. Oh, come here. Come here, baby. Come here. And listen, if his owners aren't here by tomorrow, I am coming back for him and he's coming. My mom said to me that week, I've never seen you so obsessed with something. Oh, he's coming home with me! So I was able to adopt him. Here he comes! Hey, you! Hi! Since then, it's been a whirlwind of an adventure. You're home! The first time he did his scream, he saw another dog and you know, we all looked at each other like, what was that? <laughs> Even the trainer was like, okay, we don't really know if this is a sign of aggression or what. And it wasn't. I spent hours every day with him, tricks, mental stimulation, and he did fabulously. He is so willing to learn. He's excited always to try new things. He really just started swimming and he loves it. <laughs> started little by little, jumping in after the ball. First he screamed at it, chirped at it for a while, and then finally he's like, I can do this. And he jumps in. He just makes everyone that meets him smile. He's hanging out the back window, screaming his head off, and people are cracking up next to us. He jumps into the back seat and he sits there perched all ready to go. But then as soon as the car starts moving, and he just likes to scream out the window and like as I go by, so I try not to get too angry so he doesn't scare the bejeebies out of them. He screams at cats, pigeons on the top of houses. He does it when he's asking for attention. We have gotten those negative reactions or people that will turn around and walk the other way. But once everyone meets him, they see what a lovable, kind soul he is. I didn't have any inhibitions when I first saw him because of the tail wag and our interaction. I never would have thought that the first dog I got would ever be a pit bull. I try to take him everywhere I can. I want people to see him, to understand that they're like any other dog. It all comes down to spending that time with your dog. He's taught me a little bit more about taking time to just stop and enjoy what's around me and to be grateful for what I have and just, you know, be yourself. He's himself every day and he loves it and everybody loves him, so he must be doing it right. <laughs>